Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to City Skylines 2. Yes, I finally got the sequel. There's a two at the end. And not only that, the devs have been so generous and have sponsored this video. So please boost your link in my description if you want to check this incredible game out yourselves. For now, though, let's get into a new game. And oh, we got to pick a map. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at the road layout. Does anyone else see that? Is that just me? I can't just be me. Anyway, we'll call our city Liberton Town because despite City Skylines 2 having these absolutely sprawling maps, we are going to be limiting ourselves to just a single grid because what I thought would be fun to do was try and repeat this. I did this in City Skylines 1. Uh, great success, as Borat would say, but I just figured it would be like a nice way to sort of learn like how this game works. I literally haven't played this. It's going to be my first experience, but we're going to completely fill this grid and make it a perfect city. There's a train. Oh, man, it's like one of those double trains. Whoa. We've got a river in this corner, and then we've got our connection. We've got a highway coming in. Uh, what I quite like, it leads to a roundabout. So that's how you know this is going to be a successful town. All right, so we've got a lot of space to work with. Let's have a look at these roads. Oh, man, I can build I can build an arch bridge. What's that going to cost me? Four grand? How much money do I have? 500 grand. Okay, we're definitely putting a bridge in. Oh, there's... This is going to be an awesome plate. Look at this. We got a bridge. You know what that means. We need a bridge review. A huge steel arch truss bridge spanning a fairly fast flowing river, giving ample headroom for large boats. Although the fact that this bridge is right next to it, maybe that's not important. Now, some might claim this is a product of architecture because it's not connected to anything. It's a bit pointless at the moment. But zooming in, what does that say? The bridge review score better be good for this or I'm gonna... The bridge just threatened me. It's, get, it's getting a lower score. So overall, I give this bridge a 3.9 out of 10, but it has room to grow because we'll probably need this as we expand our city bridge review. So we have access to all sorts of roads at the moment. This is nice. And oh, have a look at that. Can you see like under the road? There's like, I think they're services. Yeah, look, bottom right, pipes, water and sewage, power line capacity. Okay, so roads now carry services. That is cool and realistic. But yeah, we've also got some medium roads. Well, just one medium road, a four lane road unlocked. Oh man, look at that bridge. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, man, look at this page. Okay, stop, stop. Calm down, Matt. Calm down, calm down. Right, back to medium roads. I feel like it's probably wise to set up, like, my arterial roads. The ones that are going to take the traffic, like, around different places. And then we come back with, like, smaller roads to actually, like, populate the place. Right, now, I'm, I'm not really a fan of, like, straight road grids. It's a bit too American for me. Being a Brit, we do cul-de-sacs, we do curves. So I'm thinking, let's let's mirror the coastline. So I'm going to come up to here. I then I want to add a roundabout. Do they have... Okay, they have roundabouts. They're, they're quite small. They're quite wobbly as well. Look at it jiggling all over the place as I move my mouse. Boing. Uh, is that just the central island? Oh, yeah. I can shove it on there. And that's reasonably large. Okay. Because then I can continue from this roundabout. I can go this way. I can also go the other way as well. So we've got our fast arterial roads in. We've only spent 20 grand. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, we then need to come off these with our like residential areas commercial areas so back into roads we can come to small roads and we probably just want like a simple two-lane road that sounds good to me so i don't really want to come off these arterial roads oh look, oh look you can decide like what side you come off that's cool but no i think we'll come off the roundabout and then we can just add like extra roundabouts if you want to do like extra junctions but uh rather than going like straight across like that i probably want to like i want to really british this up so i want like like lots of lots of curves coming off these i want like dead end coldy sacks all right so we've gone all out we've got coldy sack central here and i feel like these are going to be our residential areas because if you look at the demand look low density residential demand is way up there so let's paint this in oh look what the oh there's so much different sort of there's so much everything so we've got low and medium density houses we've then got apartments apartments with commercial underneath large apartments and even larger ones i'm playing european by the way you can also play like the american style as well so i guess all my buildings will sort of look well european oh, i can literally change it down here north american style Ugh, architecture why did you use that word well i'll tell you what since they're already building in europe that's the like theme for my for my map I'm gonna do I'm gonna do American style architecture just to show you that architecture is pointless right anyway let's start painting some of these up we're building them with cranes oh that's cool okay this is cool anyway while they're being built I actually need to focus on how we're gonna get like 
water and power. So we've got water over here. You can see it's flowing left to right. So pumping station there. I then want sewage outlet. I'm going to shove this right down the other end of the map because I don't want poo in the area. I don't mind it. Like, like go flood downstream. There's probably like there's probably like another YouTuber building their city down there. That's fine. So I probably want to grab sewage pipe from here. Then, oh, look, I can connect straight to my... Yeah, look, that's my road. So if I go back to pipe... Ooh, I don't like that, devs. I don't like that. Like, water means, yes, you can have curves. Sewage, no chance, mate. No chance of curved pipes. Like, you can get a very small radius sort of on site. But you're meant to have, like, straights with chambers in between... Oh dear. So our pumping station has some problems. It needs a road, which is fair enough. It needs the pipe connected. It also needs electricity. That's fair because it's a pumping station. The sewage one just works on gravity pretty much. So let's get a little gravel road in. We don't need anything fancy for this. I think we'll take our gravel road up here and come under this bridge. Perhaps we can connect into this roundabout. But cool. Next up, we need to power this. We also need to power our city as well. So let's have a look in the power tab. What do we have? So we can use wind turbines or we can can use a small coal power plant. Oh, wow. They're quite expensive. A hundred grand. Uh, but the other thing you can do in this game, you can take electricity from like the outside world. So we could we could come off this as long as we use a transformer station to go between the high voltage and the low voltage of the roads and the houses and stuff. Then we can do that. The trouble with doing this is we have to pay for the electricity we use, obviously. So the question is, do we want to be self-sufficient or are we happy? I think we're going to be self-sufficient. Get one of the... Oh, man. Look at, look at this. If I come off off this roundabout. I can shove this in here. Now you'll notice over here, this is groundwater. Now we got to be careful about polluting that because if we ever want to use groundwater to like feed our population, we will pollute it and then we'll make them ill. So we sort of want to be away from that. Uh, there is also wind. That's the arrows. I don't know if that changes, but uh, if I put my coal thing here, then our fumes will go straight over to them. So maybe that's not the best idea, but I've done it now anyway. And I'm a tiny village. So we've got 600 grand for that as well as access to all of this stuff look we got medium density housing a load of new roads medical stuff landfills all sorts and by the way check out all the different progression things now there's so many they're worth noticing these development points we can go into this development tab and look we sort of have like a huge tech tree now so we can focus on what we want to build next i'm sort of thinking either crematorium which i can afford or maybe incinerator plant oh, the other thing i didn't realize this this coal power plant i've got a connect it to pylons. You can see down here, I think this is the transformer end. Yeah, so if you look at electricity, that's connected underground to the actual power, but I, I probably should connect it to the outside world, because if we're if we're making more energy than we need, we will actually get paid. So despite the fact this has covered up, oh man, look at the, look at the steam. I mean, it's not steam, it's, it's coal emissions. We can move this, which does cost money, but I think in the long run, it will be better. So we'll shove it over there. Did that that really cost me 24 grand. I think it cost me 24 grand. Yeah, but then we can add our power lines. Yeah, now if we're making more electricity than we're using, we will actually we'll sell that back to the grid. Yeah, look, we're selling the excess to the outside world. So that's good. Anyway, next up, I should probably focus on the landfill because people will complain about that soon. Uh, you can see the sort of area it's going to like pollute. So what I might do, shove this sort of down this way. So this is going to be like my pollution area of the city. I mean, we've got to pollute. We can actually draw where we want our landfill area to be. So if I like build this area sort of like this, then look, we've made our own little landfill corner right up to the edge of the railway. <laughs> Let's hope the trains don't open their windows. But now we have like the basic setup. We we have a lot of demand. Oh boy, a lot of demand. So we'll just draw a few more roads, then make this a commercial area. You can see buildings are going up. The cranes are in the sky. And look, some of our first shops are in. Oh, it's not dino oil anymore. It's eno oil. Um, what's that? Oh, people are complaining about the health. Oh yeah, I forgot about healthcare. Hang on. So medical clinic. Shove one of these in there. That looks like it covers like all my roads. That's cool. So yeah, you can see healthcare pretty covered now. Capacity is great. Death care, not so much. So what can we do there? We have a cemetery. And wow, this, this takes up quite a bit of room to be fair. But I reckon that's quite a nice area. It's coming off our, off our dirt track. Uh, quite surprising as well. There's loads of gravestones in here already, despite no deceased people. Anyway, check out the number of people entering our city. This is beautiful. The industrial area is definitely industrial. That's that is, uh, that's 
quite a sight, that. I honestly was not expecting that sort of pollution this early on. Fair play. Yeah, and the demand for industrial is still pretty high. So we'll keep painting all these areas. Oh, by the way, check out this person repping Finland. She's just, she's just idling. <laughs> She just stood out in the rain. Like, at least I have my Finland flag. <laughs> Actually, there seems to be a lot of people just stood in their gardens doing absolutely nothing. Oh, look, we just got some XP. That's how you level up in this game, though. It's no longer population. Uh, it's now XP that gets you to each milestone. Oh, and look, the next one does get us to education. And since we want this to be a land of engineers, that is 100% my next priority. So maybe it should be connecting this bridge. Got 600. Gr yeah, sod it. I'm going to connect this bridge up. Because what are we going to build? over here we like this this is just like a very slim little island i mean maybe this could be the school island Ooh, or maybe we could shove a prison on there depends how big a prison is i feel like buildings are quite big in this game anyway we're now a small village congratulations you're moving ahead very nicely thank you game so i've got three development points that people are complaining about education don't worry i've unlocked education let's unlock a college and then a university as I said before, we are educating the masses here because we are building a city for engineers. So we start elementary school. So we'll shove one in the middle. Oh, look at all the stuff. Oh, ah, it's nighttime. It's really bright. <laughs> People know I don't like nighttime in games, so I've just turned that off. Glad that is a setting. Not going to like. Right, there is our new... That's just a primary school. That thing is huge. I mean, it does hold a thousand students, to be fair. We've only got 60 students, so we do need to up our, up our population. Look at... Look at all the pollution in the background. I feel quite bad. Now, I got 1.2 million to spend. So, you should probably get a high school in as well. I mean, I was going to shove that opposite. It's so big. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to start expanding. I mean, I'm going to have to expand anyway because we're going to... We need to fill this grid. I mean, obviously, I've just built in, like, just a random pattern. But we're going to need to, like, go right up to the edge of here and stuff. So, yeah, let's uh, let's take a road along this way. Shove our high school down here. I do have a college, which doesn't take up as much room, which is quite good. So, we'll shove that there. Oh, I'm a large village already. So, what have we What have we got this time? we got more loans. we got budgets. Oh, we got farming and mining and stuff. Oh, and police and fire. Now, it's... Since architects are going to want to move in, I'm going to have to try and get to the prison as quickly as possible. So let's unlock the police headquarters for two. I'm then going to need four points to get the prison unlocked. But that's going to be pretty essential. Check out my high school and check out my college as well. These are awesome. Oh, look, they got like a little snack thing on the outside. The detail is immense. Oh, look, we've now unlocked the medium density, the apartments as well. So let's apartment up down there. So we'll get a bit of like a like a high street going on. But yeah, we do need to protect them. So let's get a firehouse in. Shove that there. We'll shove a police station next to it as well. Uh, some of these people, though, they're not getting enough customers. I think that's because it's like a bit of a, a bit of a ghost town down this end of the map. So probably worth a roundabout and then just connect connecting up more of these places and like adding a road down this way. Now, by the way, you can now you can now like add a grid. So if you use this button down here, I don't like using grids because I'm British. But, like if we do that, look, we can literally grid up an entire area like really easily. That's pretty cool. Then you can make it really easy to like paint these up so I can make all of that commercial. Uh, I'm a little bit worried how close I've put my houses to the industrial area. And why is everyone's repping Finland down here? <laughs> What is going on? Everyone's got a Finland... Have I just built Finland? Check out my, my two apartment buildings. Probably try and get more of them in. The trouble is everyone's demand is just for low-density residential. All right, we are now a grand village. The city is coming along nicely. Oh, so we've now unlocked offices as well as low-rent housing. Loads more, like, industry stuff. Ooh, buses, public transport. Oh, I'm finding some parks as well. All right, well, anyway, despite my natural instincts, I have just gridded up, like, this area of the city. Because look at all the different demands. We've now got high-density requirements. So what I'm thinking, we shove these sort of like round the edge. We then do like the medium in between. And then on these inner ones, we have the low densities. Like people are protected from the outside world. I mean, you could say we're just we're just making it so that no one has a nice view of the mountains. Right, looking at education, we def... <laughs> We got like the biggest high school. There's only 19 pupils there. But yeah, there's definitely a need for a university. It costs 1.5 million. Million? I mean, I did say I'd put education first. Oh, and it does fit there quite nicely. Like, <laughs> so these three buildings, absolutely humongous cost me like over 2 million quid. There's one person using the university, 200 using the college, and 20 using the high school. <laughs> 
Oh, look at this though. We just got a signature building. How much was it? Oh, is it free? It's free. I mean, it fits quite nicely there. Yes, it's a bit on its own, but that's quite a nice looking building, I think. Oh, hang on. What is that junction? What is that? I was a highway engineer. I do not approve this. Easy fix though. Roundabout. That's much better. Oh, look. This is this is honestly, if there's one building that's going to relate to me, it's a pop musician mansion. If you've watched any of my Polybridge series, you know that I am destined to be a pop star. So this is my future house. I've got to build this. Ah, oh, by the bridge. On the waterfront by the bridge. Yes, this is a brilliant idea. So here is my future house. Look at that. Look at my view. It's beautiful. So what do you have? Oh, I've got horses. But yeah, I've got a hot tub. I've got a hammock. I imagine in there somewhere is where the magic happens, where the songs are sung. Oh, I'm noticing. What is that? Office demand. So I think by the school area is like actually not the worst idea in the world. So people go to school, learn, and they get a job right next door. All right. One thing I need to do before I get too far, I got to connect this bridge up. I was also just having a look down here. In pedestrian pathways, you can actually get, you can get bridges for them. So I could do like a little path off this. Now we have a, a cable stayed pedestrian bridge over there to make my mansion even more desirable just by making this a working bridge. And let's satisfy some more demand with some low density housing. We are very close to being a grand village. I'm still not making profit though. So I'm wondering, is it worth taxing people a bit more? 10% tax is nothing. And then like the upper earners, can I split this into upper and lower? Oh yeah, I can, like the higher educated. If you want to learn, you got to pay tax 30%. I mean, 30% is nothing. I think UK is like 45. Um, yeah, so I... <laughs> <laughs> it's our like education that's causing us issues. Roads cost us five grand a month. Education, 334 grand a month. Oh, check that out. Just like that, we're now making profit. Two grand an hour. Decent. I think it's time to get a park in, to be honest. Oh, it's got to be a dog park as well. All right, this has got to be near Matt's mansion. So let's shove it Ooh, down in that corner. Oh, man, that's a wicked dog park. Look at that. It's got like hoops and tubes and all sorts. And just like that, we are now a tiny town. 1.2 mil in the bank. Oh, and five points, which means we can unlock the prison. So first things first, we got to get our prison over here. This is where the architects will hang out, remember. So prison, 650 grand. Oh my goodness, it's huge. It's absolutely monstrous. All right, the thing is, I, I need to move... I need to move this highway out of the way, but I haven't unlocked highways yet. Do I have the points? I got six points. I think I can do it. So advanced service roads. Yes, there's the highways unlocked, which means I can delete this road. Oh, I can't actually delete that. And oh no, I can't delete that. It exceeds city limits. Okay, don't have a go at me, everyone in chat, but I got to do the architect thing and delete this bridge. I know, I know. It's only temporary though. Don't worry. It's only temporary. I then need to just grab some landscaping. Oh, is landscaping free? My money's not going down. But yes, if I shove that there. <laughs> Oh, I've really, I've really shrunk my river. That's not good. If you, if you in real life, like make a river narrower, the water will go faster and faster water means more erosion and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's be an engineer about this and let's just make the other side. Lovely. This seafront isn't dangerous at all now. <laughs> Dirt road literally at the top of a cliff. But yeah, the important thing is our prison is in. So now this is truly an engineering paradise because we have a place to put all the architects. So I'm just going to fix all these bridges and make sure that's all connected and stuff. Fill in a bit of a bit more area with like everything we need. And then we'll see we'll see how we're looking in a little bit. All right, well, it's been a little bit. The place is certainly getting there. Check out over here. We've got a whole host of bridges. The truss arch is back. We've got this huge suspension bridge, which, oh, actually, there's a traffic jam. Why is there a traffic? What are those symbols? Why are these not obeying the law? Obviously, no right turn, double white light. What are you doing? Damn smart car drivers. There's definitely an architect in there. Over here, prison is up and running. 50 employees, no prisoners. It's it's going well. I'm pleased there's no prisoners because it means that there's no architects. I had a bit of a nightmare trying to connect my highways up. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit weird over here. I will say that. I tried to put in like a little pedestrian key along here as well. Yeah, so all these, all these houses, although they have driveways, they can't actually drive to them because this is just like a little pedestrian. 
pedestrian area. But yeah, main problem now is there's not enough customers for these shops. Now there's still demand for low density residential. So I'll keep trying to cram those in. Anyway, I'm pretty proud of our city. Nearly 6,000 population. We're making 25 grand an hour. We are just making so much money. I should probably invest it into like some services. So I tell you what, I've just built a bus depot. Let's upgrade to electric buses and an extra garage. Then we'll just shove some bus stations around. Right. Oh no, look at my electricity. Look, we're not making enough anymore. Get another coal plant in. Trouble is the uh, the commercial is definitely taking up a large area of this grid now, uh, which is actually nearly there. Like there's a lot of green about. So maybe I could add some roads to sort of try and increase the denseness. It's just the people building the... They <laughs> They don't like curves. They only work in squares. Everyone requires a completely rectangular garden plot. Oh my god, there's a tornado. There's a tornado. Oh wow, that thing is huge. It is destroying these trees. Is that a shadow of it? It's got a really dark shadow. But yeah, everything is getting mullered at ground level. That's insane. I'm glad that's nowhere near my town. Anyway, not gonna lie, I'm surprised with how little poo these guys are making. Like, this is the sewage outlet. So just one little pump is coping for this entire... Like, look how big this city is. Oh, I was just looking down here. This is the map tiles that I've unlocked. I've actually... I've unlocked 33. Now, you can see, I've actually been building... Rather than one square grid, I've been building in, like, a 3 by 3 grid. What's wrong with you? What does that mean? Oh, air pollution. I wonder what could be causing that around here. <laughs> Oh, man, this tip is an absolute tip. Oh, wow, this photo camera. You can really look. Like, look at the detail of this. I'm basically walking around my city. Don't run me over, you knob. So, yeah, let's head over this way and have a look. If you were a pedestrian walking walking along... Oh, what is wrong? That guy's got a gold beard. <laughs> if you were a pedestrian walking along here, like, to be fair, that is a hell of a bridge. Look at the size of it. Oh, look, there's a dog. A very, very shiny dog. I assume... Are you a wet dog? Oh, look, they got different dog breeds. There's an Alsatian. There is the, the actual bridge, which I think now deserves an increased amended score of 8.9 out of 10. Amended bridge review. Anyway, if we just look at these architects things, sorry for ourselves, let's just head upwards and just have a look at look at our look at our grid for my first stab at the game i think it's ended up okay but for now i'll say peace love and remember to check the game out by boosting the link in the description thanks to Des for sponsoring cheers guys bye